what are some of the things that you feel are sure factors like these are my favorite top factors towards college choice there's no um like one thing i always tell students is if you've gone to a very aggressive high school which is pretty much 90% of the students we meet with have gone to very hard high schools is don't take a don't go to an undergraduate degree with where the where it is literally like another it's like high school on steroids uh, for example my kids went to mission san jose i forbade them from going to berkeley in fact i don't even think sure i even applied to berkeley because we felt berkeley was such a pressure uh, pot in general the realization that a undergrad degree is a place for you to take some time to be to yourself to to smell the roses to to heal yourself from all the garbage you've gone through is a very important realization and knowing that you still have a journey ahead you're not going to finish a bachelor you still have to go to masters and even phd level do you where, where do you see a burnout like i could never do a masters or a phd because i burnt out i i went to a crappy school engineering college and um, uh, i when i finished four years i was like there's no way i'm studying ever again you don't want ever to be in that situation because you can't afford that the times have changed as a person so that realization if you're able to communicate that point of view to these students that take these four years like does this feel like home to you i always tell my students to go and spend the night not just the day not what just going and seeing an admission session when you finish that admissions uh, you know tour of the school walk around the school sit in the cafe talk to five six people go to the library talk to the librarian get a feel of the personality of the school the people around because that will believe it or not the school is actually one house you literally can see the personality of the school in every bugger you see walking around over there so spend the morning spend the night over there because like for example uc davis comes to life in the night it's a carnival in the daytime is completely dead wellesley on the other hand is like a morgue in the night and in the daytime it's beautiful you like, like you look all around it's like, it's like a hogwart kind of a scenario but can you live with it can you live with this on a weekend can you live with like this for four years of your life those are important questions that are very personal nobody no counselor can tell you that you as a student have to decide that